Hi everyone, <clears throat> here's Abdur and uh, today we are watching a um, first impressions video on this uh, Citizen uh, Pro Master Marine. Um, I think the reference number, uh, before I say the reference number, I'd like to thank Mario for uh, lending me out this watch uh, to try it out and to review it as well. Uh, reference number of this watch is BN015010E. Uh, and I think the internal reference number or the one on the back of the case. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, need to drink uh, one more tea. In the back of the case uh, is E168S100623. It has the caliber E168 inside and eco drive movement with 180 days uh, um, power reserve. Um, has the date function um, and it does have a uh, crown as you can see monodirectional crown so it doesn't move uh, as you can see there is no wiggle and it stays on the dot so definitely good quality good manufacturing let's go to the um, how big is the watch? So the watch is in diameter 44 millimeters. But the cool thing is luck to luck is just around 50, just 50 millimeters and thickness is only 12. So only 12 millimeters thickness, which gives it a really nice size on the wrist. Uh, just for reference, by the way, I'm wearing, here you can see the G-Shock. This one has a diameter of almost 45 millimeters and lug to lug of also around 50 millimeters 50 millimeters and you can see how it looks on my wrist for reference i have a uh, around 17 centimeter wrist so around 6.7 6.75 inches and let's see this watch on my wrist then by the way, I really like the dial. I really like the bezel action. Love that uh, the blackened out um, part of the, the, the hour and minute and the hour and minute are different. So it's pretty easy to read. And if we look at uh, the loom, pretty strong loom. And the coolest thing is you can see that there is a bit difference between these two blues. So it does give you a a strong contrast uh, feel and you have also a green loom pip but it definitely definitely um, I'm impressed by this watch it might be my next Peter watch because I really wanted to get a, uh, a, a um, an echo drive watch but I ended up with the G-Shock uh, the one that I was just wearing and uh, yeah let's see on my wrist so I just show you on my wrist. Sorry about that. It's a bit harder to wear with the Zulu, uh, but I do actually prefer the Zulu on uh, on rubber, definitely. And if I buy uh, this watch, or not this one, but if I buy a similar watch, I would definitely put it also uh, either on a NATO or a Zulu, because they are pure tool dive watches, and uh, they were made to be used on uh, straps like that, straps that are tools as well. So here you go, on my wrist, under the bone, above the bone, you can compare it to the G-Shock, oh, that's inverted, sorry, you can compare it to this G-Shock and the other G-Shock, here you can see it. So I do actually really enjoy this watch. Um, uh, it has even a screw down crown, you can see. It has a screw down crown. So it has all the bells and whistles to make it a tough, tough beater watch. And at the same time, it has really cool looks. As you can see on my wrist, it doesn't look big at all, even though it's 44 millimeters. But that's why um, they always said with this model, you have to try it out before you uh, say anything about the 44 millimeters uh, thickness, which could be totally different around uh, another 44 millimeters thickness that I could show you. 
because I have it here as well and uh, here we have another 44 millimeter watch and you can see the difference between 44 and 44 and I can even put this above this so you can see it definitely I'll go for this one over this one Anyways, it's taste, that's why there are different watches, there are uh, different styles, because everyone likes different things from everyone else. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, the watch has a fantastic price, uh, around under 200 euros, you can find uh, uh, 160, 170 in that range for this model. Uh, you could find also a green model, an anti-tiny model, which is a bit more expensive. But I guess uh, if you want a really thin uh, uh, light watch, the titanium model would be your pick. My pick is the red one. I really like the red one. I might put it on my uh, shopping list for the next month if I get any extra uh, funds that coming on my way. I'll uh, definitely, or if I sell any watches, so if you'd like to buy any watches, Check the links in the description, I will add some watches that I'm selling, help me out buying this watch, because I don't want to only buy watches, I would like also to sell the watches that I have so I can acquire new ones, and uh, yeah, that's how it. Uh, I'm trying to do it, at least uh, trying. So anyways, thank you so much for watching, hopefully you uh, like this video, I'll try to make a... Um, a full review, I I'll ask Mari if I can wear it for a couple of days, and uh, he said, yeah, of course, no problem. And uh, I'll make a, another video maybe in a couple of days to compare it to another diver uh, or another watch in the price range, the, the under 200 euros price range. And uh, yeah, let's see how it will uh, maybe uh, a face off between the Orient, the Citizen and, uh, and uh, the Seiko for, uh, let's see. Anyways, if you have any kind of suggestion, which watch should I uh, bet this against in my collection, uh, please do leave it in the comment section. That would interest me so much. And uh, also, hopefully, uh, if you're not subscribed, do subscribe. It does help a lot. Do help, uh, do help us out with uh, hitting the bell button and also uh, commenting on uh, the video. Anyways, if you can share it also with friends, that would be great. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for... Uh, yeah, uh, subscribing. I know uh, if you hit the subscribe button, that would be really cool of you. Anyways, sorry about that. Thanks so much. And uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye bye.